Hi, today I want to give you a short review of this bidet that I just bought from Costco. This is made by a company called Brondel and this is the model Swash CL1500. The whole package uh, consists of, of course, bidet, manual and some hardware to connect it to uh, the water supply. A couple of years ago I went to Japan and I really fell in love in uh, Japanese bidet and for the past couple of years I've had a different bidet and this is basically the bidet attachment made by company Bio Bidet. I made a video review on it a while ago, I'll give you the link on the bottom. Now in those crazy times when we have coronavirus and lack of toilet paper, this bidet is gonna be perfect solution to totally eliminate uh, toilet paper and basically you're gonna have a clean tushy with all the comforts of having nice bidet. No more toilet paper. So before I install it I'm gonna give you a couple of close-ups because it's gonna be easier to show it right here. So as you can see you need to connect it to 15 amp GFCI grounded outlet. On the right hand side you have a grounding spot and you have a cable, grounded cable for 110 volts. The toilet seat has a soft closing option. On the right hand side you have uh, controls, stop, washing rear, front, this is the strong option. Then there's a dryer, I'll show you in the front what it is. Pulse, gentle, you can change the water temperature and nozzle position. Then you can change the temperature of the seat, the seat is heated. Also you can change the water temperature, nozzle cleaning and echo mode. So as you can see here is the location of the nozzle. You can actually change how far you want it to extend. This is the dryer, warm air dryer, so you're not gonna need any toilet paper at all. Right here this is water connection. I don't know how this works, but this is quick release. So once you push this, I see right here, this is quick release. You can probably easily take the seat off for easy cleaning. On the left side, you're gonna have a deodorizer and there is a special filter for that that you're gonna insert over here, it's carbon filter. And this is a mounting plate with uh, those bolts and this is a T connection to connect it to the water together with the hose everything comes in a kit to be able to install the toilet seat onto any toilet you need a power you need to have a GFCI grounded outlet in your bathroom the next step is to shut off your water Disconnect the existing hose from the tank and install the T connection. So we need to go install this connection right here. Make sure your gasket is gonna be sitting inside on top. And we're gonna mount this first. This is how we're gonna get the water supply ready to be supplied to the bidet. And I'm gonna connect the bottom part. Gasket is here. Make sure your connection is tight, but don't over tighten that so you don't break the plastic parts. So if you can tighten that probably by hand is going to be just fine. You can always make it a little bit tighter if you see that something is leaking. In step number two, I'm going to connect my water hose into the connection and I see there is a water filter which is good in the next step we need to position the positioning plate with the arrow facing towards the tank the rubber pieces are facing down okay right in the middle and then we need to put metal brackets in the middle and then we're going to secure it with the supplied bolts So this is one of the bolts, 
this goes to from the top this goes on the bottom this goes on the bottom of the uh, toilet now to install the bidet onto the uh, mounting plate you can see we have those guides on both sides that will correlate with those grooves over here so all you have to do is just slide it in until it locks so now i'm going to go and slide those trucks into this plate we need to lift it up to just lighten it up and it is simple as this all you have to do is just slide it and wait for the click okay it's installed looks beautiful now if you need to adjust it forward to back I think I have to move a little bit more forward I'm going to have to move the plate a little bit more forward so I'm gonna push the quick release aside and now this is out and I want to move this plate a little bit more forward Okay, so as you can see, this is a very easy adjustment system. Let's put the seat back on and let's see how it looks now. Put it on the truck, push it in, lock it in place. Alrighty. Yes, this looks better because there are rubber pieces on the bottom. Right now, they are correlate to the rim outline and it's perfect, they're perfectly sitting where they're supposed to, perfect. So the top and the bottom part, as you can see, they slowly close. Now it's time to connect the water supply. So the water supply goes from here and there is already a washer installed. So all I have to do is just put it right here, secure it in place, make a tight connection. Again, make sure you don't over tighten things. Now it's time to put the odorizer. Now we're ready to plug it in. Whoa, something's going on. Okay, let's turn the water on. Let's see if we have no leaks. Okay, no leaks. I see some indicator lights. Let's see what's going on. And we have a nice blue night light in a toilet. So at night, that's how it looks like. This bidet comes with a lot of options. That's why it comes with this kind of thick manual. So you can read about it when you get it. But to uh, show you just a couple of them, let's say I'm gonna clean a nozzle. I click nozzle clean. You will see the nozzle getting clean. It's gonna go in and out about three times. Then it's gonna stay extended. So periodically, so from time to time, you can just go and clean it manually with the soap brush to have it extra clean. See right now it stays on. Once you finish your cleaning, you push the button again, it retracts and finishes its cycle. This option does not work when you sit on a toilet. If you don't like the night light, you can push the plus button for four seconds, turn the lights off, 
or you can keep it on actually I do like it so when you use the bidet it automatically goes through a couple of modes and uses only as you can see 0.8 liters per minute now let me give you a little demonstration so here is a sensor now it's sensing that somebody's sitting on it so let's go for example on gentle mode and you will see the nozzle is retracting and it's spraying and right now we can change the nozzle position you can see we can retract it and we can aim it more forward or more back pressure off and it's retracting because it knows nobody's sitting on after each automatical cycle the dryer will start right now I'm just gonna manually turn it on and this is where the dryer is right here and you can of course change the temperature of the air from really cold to really nice and warm and this will shut off after two minutes automatically so far i've used it only a couple of times and i have to say that the comfort and cleanness uh, is comparable with those bidet that cost four or five hundred dollars and those that i've experienced while in japan and i'm really really happy with this purchase if you have any questions, you can uh, send me an email and I'll give you the link to this one on the bottom of the description of the video and I bought it at Costco. Thank you for watching guys. Goodbye.